everyone. Welcome to our Saturday edition of this day. It is February 19th. Of course, we don't have any meetings to tell you about, so we'll just tell you who is on our show. Well, we have a visit by Leslie Gabola of Adapt to It, and we have a blast talking about all the different things that she has in her location right now. Some really fun things and actually some really needed things, so I think you're really going to enjoy that. Then we talk with Dr. Karimi about um, lots of different things from the city of Hope, Orange County. He has some great advice for all of us, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's take a look at our local weather. Uh, we are looking at sunshine today, uh, 71 46 today, but then we're going to start clouding up on Sunday afternoon, evening time frame, 67 51, then partly cloudy on Monday, 62 47. If you are traveling, take a look at these numbers here. Our local beaches look pretty good, 63 52. 6642 in San Diego, 6550, Tahoe 4515, Mammoth 4315, and Big Bear 5224. If you're going to Palm Springs, nice and warm 80 with an overnight 54, Las Vegas 7245. Our sunrise this morning was at 631, and our sunset will be at 539. And thank you, Alan Clark, my favorite college campus of all, USD, the University of San Diego down there uh, by SeaWorld. My daughter went there and I loved visiting because the architecture is just beautiful. So thank you, Alan, for sending that in. We appreciate it. And if you have a photo of someplace you have visited, we'd love to see it. Email it to lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. All right, when we come back, we visit with Leslie, so stick around. Curious about cannabis for your chronic pain? In a historic step in cannabis research, Dr. Dominguez will follow participants taking Canaceutica, an oral capsule designed for chronic pain. The study is mostly remote and will give you access to top UCI medical professionals. Mayor Sherry Horn had this to say about the trial. Visit UCICannabisStudy.com today to see if you qualify. I'm so happy to recommend Dr. Fairman. I've been going to her for nine years. She's done implants, crowns, bridges, root canals, and I've been happy with everything that she's done. The staff is so friendly and pleasant, kind and gentle. I would recommend her to anyone. We are now fully open for all your dental needs and invite you to come in and experience the brilliant smile difference. We are close to gate six near Snooty Fox Restaurant behind Coco's. Leslie Gabola here on behalf of Adapt to It, and she brought us lots of wonderful, fun items. Thank you. Hi. You're, hi. Well, you always have some cute things, and of course, this is no exception. This is a darling little moose, and then we and have then another a little cute piggy. Thing, a little piggy. And what do these do? These are they're called warmies, and um, they are filled with lavender, uh -huh. so they smell really good, and then they're mm -hmm. microwavable. Oh. So they have a couple benefits, actually. They're cute. They're cuddly. They they're can be your soft. friend. But more, th and you can pick your favorite animals. So we've got all the animals. Oh, nice. And they, we have elephants, and we have dogs, and we have cats, and we have bunnies, and they're all just as cute. But the things that I like about them, number one, like I said, they're your friend. But they're filled with lavender, which is an herb, relaxing herb. So that helps. So if you're not feeling good, sometimes the relaxing will help you uh, feel better. But the other thing that they have, they're, they're kind of full. And so they're, they have weight on them, which mm -hmm. is compression, ah. which will help with um, calming the nerves, making you feel better, just kind of an overall comforting feeling. Yeah, that's interesting. And um, a lot of, when I got these in the first time, I sent one home with all of my employees. They got to pick up pick their favorite animal, 
and take it home with them because uh -huh. I just thought they were so cute and they therapeutic. Are. So. Well, you know, I wonder because of the weight, like you said, and once you put it in the microwave, you could sit it on your you chest. You could sit on your chest, exactly. Oh, like you want, like you or said. on your shoulder, oh, that's anywhere a great really. Idea. And they are, they can form so they can hug a knee or yep. anywhere. Well, they are super adorable. And, uh, you know, what does something like this go for? They're $24.99. Not bad, not yeah. bad. Excellent. Yeah. Well, you've got lots of other goodies too. I do. I kind of focused on self care today. All right. So. And a few things that you can take with you traveling. This I really love. It's squishy. It's a memory foam. Okay. So it conforms to your body with the heat. And um, it has an extra, the benefit with this one is it has an extra little shelf. So you don't have to like go so far to reach the cushion with your neck. Okay. It's kind of already there. Okay. And so you just put it on your, your neck and then you can rest on it. And it has this little thing here that you can just slide up and um, tighten oh. it on so it won't go anywhere. Oh, okay. won't move. Oh, yeah, that's good. So like and you so said, for travel, I mean, that's nice to have, of course, on the airplane. Mm -hmm. Travel Excellent. in the car, really anywhere, and it's nice and soft. Okay. And then um, this little steamer guy is our um, humidifier. Mm -hmm. And it's small enough, again, if you want, you can take it over to a friend's house or, you know, visiting mm -hmm. if you need it. Mm -hmm. It adds extra moisture to the air. Um, you can steam your face with it a little bit, like just kind of put a little towel or yeah, even kind of give that a get, try. Kind of feels oh, good. Yeah, it Opens feel up nice. your pores, kind of cleans out everything. You know what I love about it? It's quiet. Yeah, you Some of those other it. ones, you know, the old ones where you had the thing and they had the base on them mm -hmm. and they were full of water, mm -hmm. they made a horrible noise. They did, they did. And it, this is supposed to be therapeutic, right? Putting yeah. a little steam in the air. Oh, yeah. And those were not. No, they so, weren't. So you yeah. could, how long does this last, like overnight? Overnight, okay. yes. And then it's really super simple. It's just a little bit of water, like a cup okay. full of water in the bottom, and then just uh, stick the blue thing on on the top. Okay. Turn it on, you're ready to go. Okay. The neat thing about these, you can actually infuse uh, essential oils with them. That's so great. you can do like eucalyptus or peppermint for um, for lifting you up. Okay. You can do lavender, chamomile for relaxation. Ah. So, and it infuses it into the air in little micro bits. So it, it really goes through and, and becomes a therapeutic tool. So if I wanted to use this in my room, like you said, for um, like hydration, mm -hmm. you, you, you can in just a regular bedroom. That's mm -hmm. about, it will, it will fill the whole right, air. Right, okay. this one is for about a medium sized room. Okay, great. So um, to get the most benefit, you shut the door and then just let it steam. Awesome, yeah. and like you said, it, it, well, it lasts all night and it has a night light. Exactly. So that is great. Oh, so that is really cool. It. I love it. All right, good. Well, we're just going to keep that going right here. <laughs> and then you have another travel item over there. That, I do. That gray. What is this, that? This is a travel cushion, and it, it comes actually folded up in a little pouch this big. You unfold it, and then you can pump it up. So oh, you can okay. inflate it okay. to your desired um, thickness okay. and then put it anywhere. It's small enough so it can fit in a car seat, a, a plane seat, train, anywhere really that you would want to take okay. a cushion to sit on. Okay. And the holes tend to kind of relieve that pressure. So gotcha. there's not so much pressure pressing up on the side on your tush oh, when nice. you're sitting, which okay. is nice. That's excellent. And you know, like you said, you can it came in like a really small package mm -hmm. and you unfolded it, so exactly. that's perfect. All and right, then, excellent. Now, um, you've got some shower items. I do, because what's pampering yourself without shower items, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I really like this one. This one is a long loofah. Mm -hmm. So it has loofah in the middle and then some handles. Okay. So you can use it to reach loop around your feet, loofah yeah. your feet, loofah yeah. your lower legs. And of course, your back. Excellent. And that works really well. And it's soft and squishy. Um, it has openings here. Mm -hmm. So technically, you could put a little bar of soap. Oh. You could put some you know, moisturizer, whatever you want. Oh. And then it has the rough part here, which is kind of nice. OK, well, that's excellent. Just hang it on your shower, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And then the set also comes with this is a, a scratchy loofah, mm -hmm. and then this one is more of a soft loofah. Oh, okay. So you have your choice, and oh. they, they fit right on your hand, so you mm -hmm. can... That one looks like it has a, a thing also. 
Oh, it does. Look at that. So you again, could, you could stick your bar of soap or your favorite moisturizing, uh -huh. and you can just stick it in there and have it in the whole time. Exactly. Hey, that's a great idea. And those come as a set. That comes as a set. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay, excellent. And what does something like that run? This is 19.95. Okay. Well, it has a lot of good use there. That's yes. excellent. Now you have another thing there that's so fun. This <laughs> has been now. If anybody has been with me for any amount of time. Everybody has seen me have this in my hand because I never used to travel anywhere without it. This is a soapy sole. Okay. And it has these really nice suction cups that really work because sometimes suction cups don't really work. Mm -hmm. And these really stick. And then you put it in your shower, squirt liquid soap on it, and then scrub your feet. So it helps with circulation of obviously cleaning your feet, mm -hmm. but it helps with circulation and kind of makes you feel better because as you know, all your pressure points for your whole entire body are located in your feet. Ah. So if you're stimulating that, you're kind of stimulating everything in your body, getting everything going, mm -hmm. and it feels really super good. Well, that's a great idea, especially if you were going to maybe go on a tour, mm -hmm. well, say you're going to Europe or something like that, and you take a tour, and all you're doing is walking Rocking. the entire time, yes. come back to your room, and you've got that yeah, handy. Exactly. Nice. And again, small enough, throw it in your yep. bag, and you're yep. good to go. Good. That's excellent. Then you've got another item here that is perfect for us who are alone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a roll lotion and this comes with a top to keep it clean you unscrew it you put lotion in here okay and then you screw it back on and then you roll it oh. on your back oh. and it's great because actually this bend is um, purposeful it will help you reach your whole entire back oh, okay so if you try something that's straight you can't reach the bottom part of your back but that's since nice. it's bent, you can reach your whole back. And you kind of nice. get a little massage, massage. too. Exactly. Oh, that's exactly. nice. And you've got some some cleaning, foaming body cleanser here. Can you? You could well, use that something. Like a, oh, yeah, you could put that inside here, You right? could use something like that inside here. Or you could use this one as kind of a dual thing. You can use water with it or not use water with it. Okay. Sometimes due to recovery or yeah. injury, we can't oh. always get to a shower. Gotcha. So um, this one is, it's a, it has olive mean in it. So it has olive oil. So it's very moisturizing, very therapeutic. And it's foamy, which that feels so good on the skin. Nice. So you would foam it on, okay. rub a little bit. You could even use your little mitt. Okay. And um, wipe it off, and you're good to go. Well, well, I like the fact that you don't need water with mm -hmm. it, which is really nice, like you said. Mm -hmm. If you have surgery and you can't get to a shower, some, you've got something open. I right. love that. That's yeah. great. It's non-allergenic and non-sensitizing. So what does that mean? Non-sensitizing. So sometimes... You know when you use something for a while, you get allergic to it? Yeah. It's, it doesn't do that. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Now, you said there's olive oil in it. What are some other things or, uh, that are in there? It has some, some therapeutic okay. ingredients to help with moisture okay. and cleansing. What a great invention. I love that. Well, this yeah. is awesome. We also have caps along that same line that you don't use water with, and I didn't bring one, but they're great. Put them on, they're filled with this, a, no, a no rinse shampoo. You put them on, squish, 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 and then take them off, towel dry the hair, comb the hair, and you're good to go. And they oh. work, they work great. That is a great idea. I love the fact that you have all these um, items that are perfect for, like you said, after surgery mm -hmm. or just, you know, just for fun. And we have one last item that we're gonna share with you. And Leslie brought it because it's leopard. So she wanted to make sure you all saw this. And uh, you can get this for yourself or for your loved one. Look at this fun thing. Isn't that great? Because it's leopard. Because we also, it's leopard. We also have them in zebra. OK. So if you prefer a zebra to a leopard, that's fine. We can, we can accommodate that. And I believe we have a cow, too. And a cow. So, OK. And a cow. So you and can, then what is that made of? Does it have it's a just foam? foam? Yeah, okay. it's foam. Um, this one is, I believe, this one's three inches high. But we can get them in two inches high, or we can get them in four inches high. Oh, that's so. Great. It depends on how much lift you need. Everybody knows that getting off of a higher surface is easier than getting oh, off yes. of a lower surface, mm -hmm. especially as we age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm finding that myself. Mm -hmm. And um, but this is furry, so it feels good too. It's oh, that comfortable. Is great. 
Well, all of these things are wonderful. Love them all, and of course, you are open. Up. Tell me your hours again. 9 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. And then 10 to 3 on Saturday. Here's all the information uh, right there. It's behind Starbucks, and if you want to call them, 457-1600. As always, thank you so much for thank visiting you. us. I love all these, and I'm going to have to give this a try later. Definitely. We'll be right back after this. Get out and live your life with the Buzz Around XL Travel Scooter from Golden. The Buzz Around is fun to drive with a tight indoor turning radius so you can go just about anywhere. It's also so easy to charge and offers all day range so you can go further. The Buzz Around even has more leg and foot room for all day driving comfort. Be safe with the XL's ultra bright LED headlight. Plus the Buzz Around XL can be easily taken apart into several lightweight pieces. See for yourself just how easy and affordable mobility freedom can be. Hi, welcome to Pacific Financial Planners. We focus on income replacement for your retirement. We have over three decades of professional money management experience. We personalize a plan that's right for you and your family. You only get one shot at retirement. Don't you think you better get it right? So give us a call for your free consultation. We can do this over the phone, via Zoom, or in person. Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Dr. Misag Karimi, who is here on behalf of the City of Hope. Well, Dr. Karimi, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting. You're welcome. Well, you know, it's been a long time and, you know, cancer didn't stop and we had the pandemic for quite some time. And, you know, I, I know I've heard a lot of things have happened, like people actually stopped uh, going to get treated because they were afraid. And, and there's just a lot of things that I think we can certainly talk about. But before we get to those um, items, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, so uh, I'm a medical oncologist with the City of Hope. Uh, currently, I'm the director of operations at the, the uh, clinic in Fashion Island. Okay. Uh, and um, I do uh, treat uh, cancer patients uh, mainly with uh, GI cancers and also cancers of the, the prostate and the bladder. Um, and, but, you know, we, we treat all comers, but we do subspecialize uh, in, uh, in different areas. And we've been down here uh, really since uh, uh, February of 2020. Okay. All right. Is, is it true that one in three Americans will get cancer? Yes. Yes, so it is. It's it's very common that uh, we see this. That a lot of us are going to hear the the three words that we like to hear. You know that mm -hmm. you have cancer. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, with that said, and I know we talked a little bit about COVID and how people had prevented themselves from going in to be checked. You know, did, because they didn't do that, have more people been diagnosed with uh, cancer in different stages? Uh, unfortunately, yes. So what, uh, what I've seen, what we have seen is that uh, uh, patients are getting diagnosed at later stages mm. of the disease. And uh, that uh, makes it more challenging. That definitely makes it uh, uh, more difficult to uh, cure these diseases. Whereas sometimes if they're caught earlier, chance of cure is much higher. So right. it, it's been an issue. So let's talk about some of those prevention tips. Now, of course, there's a lot of um, a lot of things that people can do at home to prevent themselves from uh, potentially getting cancer. What are some of those things? Right. So, uh, if you break down the prevention, I, I think you know the the major bullet points. One one is yes, what you just said, what you could do at home, and we'll we could talk about those. Uh, the other one is going through screening as recommended by uh, your doctor. That's uh, that's the other side. Very, very important point. So when it comes to screenings, I mean, uh, the only screening that I'm aware of is, you know, to get your mammogram 
once a year or the pap smear for a woman once a year. What are some men's things that should be done? Right. So uh, that obviously depends on the uh, the person's history, the person's family history. All of those do matter. Uh, the, the habits, obviously, in life. But the ones that uh, we commonly recommend, regardless of the history, is obviously colonoscopy to mm-hmm. uh, you know look for uh, cancer in the colon or precancerous polyps in the colon uh, to try to prevent a future disease. Also, following with the primary care, you know, you uh, you do uh, physical exams. You look for signs of again other more common types of cancer that we see. I mean, you mentioned breast and also prostate in men. Uh, the, those are uh, some screening tools that we have at our uh, disposal to try to catch these early and try to get rid of them. Okay. You know, something that always seems to evade me is when you talk to people who are over the age of 55 and generally they're supposed to have a colonoscopy, but then the minute you mention that, they're like, oh, I, I don't want to have one. What are the misconceptions of a colonoscopy? Well, I mean, so it's, you know, it's not a pleasant procedure, but what I usually tell my patients is that, you know, I, I, I've done it, so <laughs> I, I don't just preach. I, I think, you know, uh, the actual procedure, that's some people that have this misconception, the actual procedure is, uh, is really very low risk. Right. Uh, by far, uh, we don't remember. You don't really remember the procedure because you're in twilight. Uh, right. You get medications. It's the day before the colonoscopy that you have to, you know, drink the fluids to oh, try yeah. to clear the colon. Uh, <laughs> that is not pleasant. Uh, yeah. But, you know, thinking about the big picture and what is caught and, you know, when we can prevent these cancers uh, or catch them early, uh, it makes a huge difference. Now, if you you know if you're not able to do colonoscopy for whatever reason, uh, there's the, there's always the stool cards uh, that could be done. So okay. at least you can start with those. But the issue with the stool cards is yes, it will catch uh, cancer, but it's not really good for catching polyps. Right. And that's where you like to catch them if you can. So. They're precancers. You don't have to go through surgery, and you just get rid of the polyps. Well, the the, uh, the the minor inconvenience certainly outweighs the long-term problems if someone was to be diagnosed with cancer. That's for sure. Let's talk about some of the things that they could do at home. So, for instance, you you mentioned here snacking. Well, everybody loves pretzels and things like that, but there's better ways to snack. Uh, absolutely. I, I think uh, we really have to be cognizant of what we eat. I mean, the part of this is, you, you know, you mentioned pretzels, there's chips, there is, you know, other things that uh, we try to munch on. Uh, and, uh, you know, just switching those to uh, nuts, you know, almonds, walnuts, uh, they're, they're much better having some uh, fruits around, you know, also that uh, that makes a difference. I think uh, shifting our diet a little bit uh, away, uh, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm a big proponent of this, uh, that, you know, to stay, try to stay away from processed uh, food in general as much as you can and go with what's natural. Exactly, exactly. And then one thing that's uh, unfortunate is that throughout the pandemic, you know, many people did turn to alcohol and they and, and they probably drank way more than they normally do. One, because they're at home and have access to it all day long. And two, people were just depressed and isolated. And so that kind of helped ease, you know, their issues. However, that is also a cancer uh, causing um, type thing. So what, what do you recommend there? So absolutely. So that's the other part of the lifestyle, the, the alcohol and the smoking tobacco, they're, they're both there. Uh, so reducing the alcohol consumption is mm-hmm. very, very important. Uh, mm-hmm. I think speaking with your doctor, uh, again, depending on, on your personal risk, your family risk. Uh, but, uh, you know, for example, just to give you an idea, uh, women who've had a history of breast cancer, they have been shown to have increased risk of recurrence of breast cancer if they drink more than three alcoholic drinks per week. Per week? Per week. Now, these are for women who've had breast cancer before. This is not the general population, but that sort of gives you an idea that, um, uh, you know, I think reducing that and, you know, like everything else, you you know, you have to be careful and reduce that. Now, if you're taking medications, 
that's a definitely a discussion with your doctor that you may have to sort of all together leave that unless it's you know for Christmas or New Year or Valentine's Day or something like that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, in closing, doctor, what are some things you would like to remind our viewers? Well, I, I think paying attention to your well-being and health is extremely important. That's the best thing we can do. Um, so the lifestyle changes. Uh, again, uh, we talked about the uh, food intake. Uh, exercise is extremely important. That needs to be uh, definitely uh, thought about. Uh, and following with our doctor for screening is very, very important. Uh, because with the COVID, as you mentioned, that's been put on hold and that's, uh, that's dangerous. So we could do a lot better. We can uh, have much better outcomes when we catch these cancers earlier. And again, at, at City of Hope, now in Orange County, uh, we're able to provide a lot of these services and also try to uh, provide a better care for patients who are uh, diagnosed with disease. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for the information. It was nice to have you on. Uh, thank you for inviting. All right. Okay. And if you want more information about what we've just discussed, you can go to cityofhope.org forward slash OC. We'll be right back. City of Hope is speeding cancer research and treatment to Orange County. Go get a second opinion, third opinion. Go see somebody who has the expertise because nowadays there is just so much research in every type of cancer that it's hard for one doctor to keep up to date with all the novel therapeutics and etc. So I think it's extremely, extremely important. movie for today is an oldie but a goodie and it is called In the Heat of the Night and you can catch that today at 2 p.m. with subtitles, 6 p.m. without subtitles and that is brought to you by Harvard Eye Associates. Now I'm going to tell you about Monday's movie because we will not have a this day in honor of President's Day. So the movie for Monday is called Invictus. And it is starring Matt Damon and Morgan Freeman. And you can see that on Monday, 2 p.m. with subtitles, 6 p.m. without subtitles. And that is brought to you by Advanced Ear Care. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather so we can enjoy the rest of our weekend. 71, 46, 67, 51, and then partly cloudy on Monday, 62, 47. If you're traveling, uh, take a look at these numbers. The beaches are looking nice, mid to upper 60s overnights in the 40s and 50s. The mountains are looking quite chilly in the evening, anywhere from 15 degrees to 24. And if you're going to Palm Springs, 80, and Las Vegas, 72. Have a great rest of your weekend. Remember, Monday is President's Day, so we will not have it this day, and most of the services will be uh, observing the federal holiday. We'll see you again on Tuesday. Bye bye.